students today we are with another method in standard deviation that is standard deviation discrete series step deviation method dear students under this method you are going to take first an assumed mean and after after that you have to find out deviations from assumed mean and after that you have to square the deviations okay so after i mean squaring the deviations the next thing is you have to find out summation fd and summation fd square so to find out summation fd fd you have to multiply deviations with respective frequencies and total them okay and after that you have to find out summation fd square so to find out summation fd square you have to first multiply frequency with d square and later you have to apply the formula okay so the standard deviation formula is square root of square root of summation of d square by n brackets of summation of d by n whole square okay this is the formula to find out standard deviation and a discrete series through step deviation method my dear students please watch this video carefully okay students so the first step is you have to take assumed mean so these are the x values okay we will take 7 as assumed mean 7 as assumed mean so x minus a means a is equal to assumed mean right x is equal to 4 so here we have to find out the deviation now okay so here 4 minus 7 is equal to minus 3 in the same way minus 2 minus 1 right 7 minus 7 is equal to 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 right so d square means d square 3 into 3 is equal to 9 2 into 2 is equal to 4 1 into 1 is equal to 1 0 and 1 2 into 2 4 3 into 3 9 that's all okay students now you have to find out you have square the deviations right now you have to find out summation fd summation fd so here if you want to find out summation fd first you have to multiply f with d so this is f and this is d 6 into 3 is equal to minus 18 right 8 into 2 is equal to minus 16 10 into 1 is equal to minus 10 right 0 next 12 into 1 12 Ten into two, twenty. Nine into three, twenty-seven. So when you find out the when you find out the total surpluses, you will get plus fifty-nine. And if you total the minuses, you will get forty-four minus forty-four, right? So plus fifty-nine minus forty-four is equal to plus fifteen. This is summation of d in the same way you have to find out of d square of d square means f into d square that is equal to 6 into 9 that comes to 54 right so in the same way 8 into 4 that comes to 32 okay 10 into 1 that comes to 10 0 and next 12 into 1 that comes to 12 And next, ten into four that comes to forty. Next, nine into nine that comes to eighty. Okay, if you total all these, you will get two to nine. Okay, two to nine. So you will denote this with summation of d square. Summation of d square. Right. So now you have find out. You have found out. One that is equal to summation of d square is equal to double to nine, right? And summation of d is equal to plus fifteen. N is equal to seventy. Okay, students. Now we will do the problem by applying the formula. 
okay S square root of okay 229 by 70 minus brackets of plus 15 divided by 70 whole square right so what do you get so that is equal to that is equal to so when you divide 229 with 70 you will get 3.2714 minus minus okay so if you divide plus 15 with 70 you will get 0 0.2143 right and now you have to square 0 0.2143 okay so square root of square root of 3.2714 minus 0 0.2143 into 0 0.2143 that comes to how much 0 0.0459 when you minus 0 0.0459 from 3.2714 what is the what is the value you get you will get you will get square root 3.2255 okay right double two double five now you have to find out the square root for this so that comes to 1.79 9. This is equal to standard deviation or the symbol sigma. Okay, students. Now we shall find out coefficient of variation, right? Coefficient of variation is equal to standard deviation divided by arithmetic mean into 100, right? Arithmetic mean into 100. So, you know standard deviation is equal to 1.759, right? Now, you have to find out arithmetic mean. For finding out arithmetic mean in discrete series, okay, A plus summation FD by N, okay. So, what is assume mean? Assume mean is equal to 7, summation FD is equal to 15, okay, N is equal to 70. So, now, 7 plus 15 divided by 70 that comes to how much you will get 0 0.2143 to 143 so arithmetic mean is equal to 7 point 7 point 2143 now you have found out arithmetic mean okay let us do coefficient of variation cv is equal to Standard deviation value is equal to 1.7959 divided by so arithmetic mean is equal to 7.2143 into 100. Okay, so when you multiply this with the uh, okay, students, when you divide 1.7959 with 7.2143 and multiply with 100 you will get the value okay 2489 2489 0 point into 100 that is equal to 24.18 this is co coefficient of variation